What is Tajweed? To recite the Quran nicely, that is, according to Maharij and Sifat of the letters and other rules of recitation, the Qawaid. Let us take Makhraj. The word Makhraj means exit. But in Tajweed, it means the place where the sound of the letter is exiting from or coming out from, or the articulation point of the letter. For example, we have ma, m, sha, sha, a, the sound after that, and kha. So ma, m, sha, a, kha. Or in other words, we have the five maharij, which are lips and the nose, tongue, and the cavity above it, and the throat. Lips, nose, tongue, cavity, and the throat. To know the makhraj of a letter, take a and place the letter with sukoon after it. For example, to know the makhraj of meem, we say am, am, and wherever you stop, that is the makhraj, the location from where the sound is coming out from. Similarly, other harakat on the letter also show the makhraj, such as ma, mi, mu. So in all these cases, the lips are the makhraj of the letter meem. Let us start with makharij now. We are placing fatha on every letter such as ma, ba, wa, fa. And we are not saying meem, ba, waw, fa, why? To practice the makharij directly as we say these letters. And also we want to use a letter poem with fatha sounds to start with. Like ma, ba, wa, fa are from the lips. We'll take the remaining poem later on. But now we'll focus on these four. Ma, ba, wa, fa are from the lips. By the way, this poem is extremely helpful in learning the makharij and sifat and also other rules. To remember these four letters, we can also have this, uh, you know, sentence Mami Baba with flowers welcoming you because you are learning Tajweed and this is for children, but you can also use it to remember Mami Baba with flowers. Ma Ba Wa Fa. And the Maharij of me, these letters are the first two, especially Meem. So Ma. Join the outer parts of the lips. Ma. Or Ba. Join the inner parts of the lips. Ba. Practice of A'udhu Billah. What is Tajweed? To recite the Quran nicely. That is, by taking care of maharij and sifat of letters and other rules of recitation. Let us start with A'udhu Billah. Bef below the Arabic text, you see in the first line some letters where people commit mistakes in maharij. In the second line, we have some more things that describe the sifat and qawaid where people generally commit mistakes. That will be there throughout our course. As per tip number three, and remember we are taking tips in this course, the second parts. So as per tip number three, let us practice the syllables here because many people have problem in saying A'udhu. So A, ah, repeat after me three times, take a sharp starch. Don't say A, ah, A, ah, no, A, ah, and don't stretch it. Don't say A, ah. okay, so repeat three times, A, ah, A, ah, A, ah, A, ah, and U. The iron sound should be very clear and also there is a mud. Stretch it. So repeat three times. And let's take zu. It's not zu. Zu. Touch the tip of the tongue. You know, touch it with the top teeth, edge of the top teeth. Zu. Three times. Zu. 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 Okay, you can practice more. And here is Tajweed tip number four. Bring the syllables of word closer step by step after you get control over their maharij and sifat. So we'll do it step by step. So repeat after me. A, ru, dhu. A, ru, dhu. Again. A, ru, dhu. Again. A, ru, Zu. And now let us bring them closer. A -u -zu. A -u -zu. A -u -zu. A -u -zu. And then let's recite the word. 
أعوذ 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 This way you can get the control over each of the syllable. Let's take the next word Billahi. Don't make the lamb thick here. Don't say Billahi. No. Just the normal lamb. Repeat three times. Billahi 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 Let's take the two words together. Practice. Repeat after me three times. A'udhu Billahi A'udhu Billahi A'udhu Billahi A'udhu Billahi Masha'Allah. That's it for now. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.